I don't know why 30 minutes would be too much. <laughs> On dry hair. I don't understand. I just don't get it. <laughs> now I can see if you're like, okay, maybe let it sit on for a while on wet hair. Okay. Dry hair. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back. I'm heading to go get my hair done. Um, I know I'm getting it uh, platinum. I always go really, really blonde in the summertime. And um, usually I get it cut. The sun's gonna be very bright, you guys. Just warning ya. Um, in the summertime, I usually get it cut short in the back and keep it longer in the front. So we shall see. I've been going back and forth what I wanna do with my hair this time. So um, I told her I want my eyebrows done. I want the works, but I'm not sure about my hair yet. Um, I do want to let my bangs grow. I've always had bangs. Oh, I thought there, be, there was a bee on my window. I thought it was indoors. I went like this and it took off. <coughs> so anyway, I'm heading to get that done. And so um, you'll have to stay tuned to see how I get my hair done. And I want to keep my bangs. I've always had bangs, even as a little kid. And I will put a picture in at the end so <coughs> man I'm heading to my beautician which she's not very far she's probably like five minutes down the road just a sweetest little I say little she's a little she reminds me of a little girl I think she's probably 22 well maybe she's a little older than that maybe 24 25 but she has um always worked for other companies like um um i'm trying to think of the one beauty salon it was sam's so anyway she was always um getting taken advantage of she's the sweetest little thing and um so she had the opportunity, a dentist had opened up a dentistry down here and he had extra room. So he went ahead and let some people that do beautician and I think they're putting a nail salon in there, let them um, like rent a room and they helped him get it up and going and everything. So now she has her own business and it's so exciting to see young people do so much with her life at a young age and have so much drive and she does she I don't know she's just amazing and um, she has a, a mom that is an addict and so she tries to help her as much as possible she's on, living on the streets her mom is living on the streets and addicted to heroin and so her and I, that's how we started talking because I went to a beauty salon and she was there and we started talking as everybody does when you're getting your hair done and we found out that we have a lot in common. So when she said she was moving and getting her, her own um, salon, I said, I definitely am going with you because um, I want to support her in that and her work is fantastic she she'll do anything you ask her to do and the crazy thing is last time I did my hair I didn't let it sit long enough and um, it turned orange and I called her and I said what do I do I, I can I can go get the stuff and put it on she's like Lisa I know you're not gonna be okay with that so you come to my shop and I'll take you in now so she came in from being off that night and took care of me because she said I know you're not going to be happy with going anywhere like that because she knows me so anyway we are here and we're going to head in and I will let you see what she's going to do with me hopefully she can make this hair beautiful so all right I'll talk to you guys soon okay we have the developer on I should have took a before and after 
Don't look beautiful. 